I stand alone, burn every bridge over the troubled water, no longer hiding from my personality disorder. A stronger tide is coming, I mean I have been running, fine adjusting, trying to find a way of fucking climbing out the corner. I'm a goner that's gone down, I used to have superpowers but they're gone now, my doctors took them away from me. I've stayed complacent, hating every second, every sentence, word, mumble, mutter, whisper, stutter, thought, look, gay, smell, taste. They just sat there and watched me break, asking neighbors to please be kind and share the popcorn. A glimpse of light I saw from below in a thought form. Put down the drugs, the hate, the remote, the weight. Put on my earphones so I couldn't listen to the snake. Create fake visions of fake women post-incision. Most decisions I used to make based on masochism disguised as trying to just enjoy living. I destroyed her heartstrings, not just cut. The worst act, the largest regret, like Hitler's dad deciding not to wear his rubbers that one time. A gunner in a chair would swear he saw enemies there. After killing all friendlies, the war of terror creates the enemy in our minds. We just kill ourselves. Cause of death, Republicans and Fox News. I mean, I've lost all faith in this world so full of hate. I don't fucking love music, I just use it to escape. But wait, wait. If you do the things I do, you'd listen to the spit I drill while sifting through my simplistic view. Then don't try to impress me, dude. Just do whatever interests you. It's simple, really. Just stop caring, stop yearning, begging. Let go of the fear like a hot skillet. Choose a career and get skilled in it. I'm peeling the mask backward, revealing the plan that's been formally formulated from focusing on findings found while planning future endeavors. You're thinking that that's clever, I'm giving you something better. I carefully caress pens, pencils, freeform art, no stencils. See, men, my words will get that girl you showed this to here pregnant. In the next segment, the questioning lesson is peer pressuring systems of control follow as puppets, given orders doled out by wicked ones with sick guns and moldy tongues. Don't smoke cigarettes just because your friends do, they think you're cooler if you're just you. Don't order what they do, hey dude, look at the menu and then you'll make a informed decision. Prayer is talk, meditation is listen. You can't get gifted with a closed mind, eyes, heart, and arms. Share it with others, don't just let it sit like that box under the tree you gave yourself your first lonely Christmas. And no one cared about your gift list left you giftless. I wish I was anyone but me, like that guy down the street that always smiles. I wish that I could just walk a couple miles in his shoes, see the hue of someone else's blues, maybe dive deep enough in their sea of troubles to find a clue, sift through the rubble, find a survivor, listen to the last words, what if my voice was the last thing they ever heard? Would it be soothing or polluting, provide comfort, or remind them of scary things that lie under? How many odd jobs must one work to build a living? I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about living. Have you done it, or do you just exist? Even if you survive to be a hundred, would you truly live? I'll gather moss as a spectator. I don't know what it would be like if, to be that guy they call hater. Make my life about wanting to be someone else all the time. Maybe then my thoughts could be normal and I'd always have to rhyme. I'd avoid myself, look in the mirror just to see what wasn't there. Maybe then I wouldn't care about my thinning hair. I'm just a square, a nerd that people mistake for being cool until they get to know me, then they see the truth. Then they avoid me in the hallways of the school. I'm just a shadow, but if I found that spotlight once again, maybe then I could find someone and truly call them friend. Or girl, put in front of that. Maybe she could rule my world. But I don't know, it's hard to see. If it's me they really like or the illusion of what they think I am or will be. Finding out is always a vicious cycle. I wish that I could just read the Bible like the rest of my family and find comfort, but all I ever see is lies like white girls with spray tans in the summer. I'll never trust a belief system designed to separate the populace or make them all the same when our differences are just phenomenal. Uh, I know we're all alike except for some minute figure like 0.3%, but that 0.3% keeps this whole thing interesting. Where one gets their blessings is the business of that person and their provider. If they look to a power that's higher, a bow down to a cigarette lighter, who cares? As long as you're a decent human being that's kind and not a dick. I know how to use your words. Know how to use your words instead of guns and fists. It's hard to go with the herd, the pack or flock. Uh, cause every time I see a door, I just have to be the one that knocks, because I'm curious. I wanna know what you think about the stars, maybe to you they really aren't that far. If you always jerk off in the morning to get your inspiration, I'm not the one to throw a Bible at you until you get to praying. I'm just saying. It's hard to have an open mind but close it off if someone believes something different from what you were taught. I think a lot. And when I learned to put two and two together, I be began my perpetual search to find something better. And I find it in books. I travel in time when I flip a couple pages, or in the laugh of a stranger that I pass, or a random smile that's con 
contagious. I kinda hope I never find what it is that I'm looking for, Jesus, because then I might put it in a book and tell the world, you have to read this. No, you don't. If you're dyslexic or illiterate, it doesn't mean shit. Or that you're any less of a spirit in the body, just like me. Just look inside yourself. When you start to see a light, then observe, let it fill you, be perturbed. And never stop questioning why, not until the sky falls all the way down. If you meet death, then just give him a pound, then a pound of weed. Tell him to cop a squat, sit down, and rest his weary knees. Then get him so high, jack his scythe. Just slice off his dick and cut out his aorta. And tell him you'll give it back once he makes you an immortal. Or cut open a portal to a poop dimension and tell him, Bitch, don't second guess me, cause off is what you piss in me. I'll send you to a world of shit, quite literally. Then I'm sure he'll do your bidding. Only when you let go of your fear of death will you enjoy living. His words by the storyteller, again, beats by no. One is They Told Me instrumental. The other one is uh, The New Day. Death has no meaning.